The multi-poly tool, a brand new tool that was introduced with the release of DaVinci Resolve 19. I believe this is also in Fusion Studio. It allows us to have multiple masks within a single node, kind of changing the way that we would rotoscope. There are a couple of little things that I did notice though that I wanted to show you. As you can see in this scene here, I have three different objects indicated with <laughs> the three pink things in the scene, and they're all powered within this one multi-poly tool. We can see that we have our list, and this is processed from the bottom up, the top one being the last tool that is processed. As you can see here, I ended up having to take out this one little light post, and so it was at the top with a subtract. Uh, one other thing that I did want to show you here that you can do, if for some reason you needed to break something out, so like let's say I wanted to take out this bridge here, I could come up here and go to right where my bridge starts, and I could right click, and then I could go split here, and now I have the building and the frame separate from the bridge. So if I was to go like this, the bridge would no longer be there, but then I would still have my work here. So let's say I wanted to do another color corrector and then add this on. I could do the bridge in a completely different color. Uh, so none of our work is lost here. Uh, but yeah, that is the new poly tool. I don't think there's anything outside of that. You can click, you can easily just grab it. It's up here or just using the select tool. Uh, once you bring it in, you have two buttons here, depending on what you want it to work with to create your mask. But just like before you click on it, uh, once it's in here, you can then draw using the same tools that we're used to if you have any questions or you want to discuss more about the different updates within DaVinci Resolve 19, I invite you over to Post Pro List where myself and other like-minded individuals are talking about the new updates. Don't forget to take a look in the description for the playlist to how to use all of the other features within DaVinci Resolve 19. But with that being said, my name is Justin Robinson. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one, guys. See ya.